Hey there, Cancer. This is Chronic Joy Tarot. We're going to do the current soul guidance for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Or if you were somehow drawn to watch this video, then the message is also for you. Um, the way we do our readings is really less about anybody else in your life or any outside circumstances and mainly focuses on your spirit, your soul, its expansion, and we focus on an aspect of ourselves every reading to um, potentially develop as we elevate, okay? And we're going to, we pulled an oracle card from the Ascended Masters deck. Um, that's this deck right here. I could show you. Ascended Masters, it's an older one. I've had it for a while. And the card that I pulled for you, Cancer, is Meditate. I like this. So if you have a practice, a meditation practice, this is time to reinforce it, perhaps increase your meditation time. Um, if you do not meditate but have been wanting to, the time to start is now. And if you don't have any interest in it at all, then I would say this reading would call for you to... At this time, practice some moderation, some self-reflection, uh, and um, maybe slow it down a little bit and get centered, okay? So that's just the general energy. You don't have to sit alone and say, oh, that's not the necessary, <laughs> but this is just a time to pause and self-reflect, just like the Buddha did. This um, card is depicted by Siddhartha himself and the story goes that he sat in silence and meditation under the Bodhi tree, um, waiting to get enlightened, you know, in, a, in, in hopes of achieving enlightenment, right? So quiet time, alone time, time of moderation. Let's see what we've got. <clears throat> the um, Zen tarot spread that I'm using is called the tree. We have this set of branches here as our starting points. This is kind of where we are now. And then through um, elevating, we come to a new level of understanding. Okay, so first starting point for you. <laughs> okay. When I was shuffling these cards and I knew we were talking about the topic of meditation, I thought to myself, the turning in card would be perfect. And what do we have? Yes, the turning in card is our starting point. So you've got a double whammy here um, guiding you to go ahead and take a pause, okay? If it helps you to um, feel more likely to slow down and pause and meditate or self-reflect, if it helps you to maybe go out into nature in order to do um, your meditation or spend more time with your pets. There's a very meditative quality about just lying there petting your cat or your dog. Um, you know, um, more time in the bathtub at night, hot bath with candles and, you know, salt and the kind of relaxing techniques we can use. Um, you know, maybe listening to some music. Whatever it is that can quiet your mind and get you into the zone of this moment right now, that's what you're being called to do. You're being called to do it doubly here, okay? So definitely that's the practice that we're going to look at. Um, internally, the energy that supports this internally is your sense of wisdom. You are becoming, as you evolve, more and more able to rest quietly in that sort of more mature, um, you know, um, self-actualized sort of sort of um, you know a higher elevated way of seeing things. You're able to when when there's conflict around, you're learning more more easily how to just really pull off from it and not absorb all the conflicting energies. Hold on, just one second. So more and more you're gaining this, this knowledge and this wisdom as to your ability to 
detach, not, not separate and cut off, but detach from too much drama, detach from that whirlwind of um, chaos and emotion that could be happening at any given time in our lives, you're able to rest more quietly in your center a lot more easily. And you're learning this. And within, you know, internally you know this and you can kind of just do it without saying. Do you know what I mean? Like say there's, I don't know, you have kids and they're fighting right in front of you and it's all chaotic and crazy. You're more and more going to learn to be able to just rest in the moment and allow that fight to fizzle out on its own without having to get in there and dig around and get yourself all upset too, right? Because it will resolve itself, right, usually. And um, you're trusting in that more and more. Okay. The external energy here that plays off of all this quiet, deep, meditative wisdom that you're learning to carry, the external quality is the miser. And I like this because of what I just said. I said, when you are faced with conflict, you're able to pull off and kind of pull in. This woman is keeping all her jewels and all her her valuables close to her chest, right? Which is in this case to me, your own heart, right? And you're just, you're containing it and you're able to be compassionate and be present without absorbing the energies and getting yourself all upset as well. This is, um, this could be in general, you know, like with things that are going on around you, in your family, in work, in the world, um, but you're able more and more to walk singularly through your life and, and really just um, trust, trust in, in the entire path. And meditating and um, self-reflection like that, turning inward, really it reinforce this ability. Okay? The energy to um, ground yourself in or master in order to elevate to the next level, yeah, is the sense of awareness. So this is really important because this, this shows clarity. This shows, you know, removing the veil, being able to see more clearly, opening your eyes up to what's going on, and at the same time, maintaining that sort of self-contained, um, um, you know, self-caring, you know, for your own heart um, way of being. And like I said, it doesn't mean cutting yourself off from others or saying, oh, you're on your own, you know, too bad. It's l allowing your heart to stay open and aware and present, yet it's a real fine line, yet um, maintaining your own autonomy from, from situations. It's beautiful, though. This is a practice to refine and refine over and over again as we ascend, as we um, evolve. And... Yeah, some days we're going to miss the mark, right? There are some days when it's those kids are fighting and you're right in the middle of it, right? <laughs> Holding them off. You stay over here, you get over there, right? You each to your corners or whatever. And you want to get in and, and, and scruff around with them. And trust me, I have kids. I know how that is. And then there are days when it's like, okay, figure it out. It'll be fine. Especially when they get to be teens like mine. So, yeah, you could just kind of find a way to... Step off for a second, still be there, still be available, but not let it take over you, right? This is your, um, your best practice for your own, um, for your own self-care, okay? So once the clarity is gained, once you're able to strike that balance between heart aware presence and, um, you know, internal connection and alignment, once you're in that state of balance, then what do we have? Yes, we have, nice, perfect, oof. Okay, so the next level of awareness is this, is this branch up here, and it's rooted in the sense of experiencing life, fully experiencing life. So as we think that jumping into the middle of that fight of, that the kids are having is the way to get into the experience, it's not always the case. Sometimes you just stand there, rooted, knowing that, okay, this is happening right now. You know, this, and, and, and 
it is as it is. It is as it should be. And it will pass and it will resolve. I can, you know, stay fully rooted in the situation without letting the energies get too fully absorbed into my own system. This figure here is experiencing the tree like maybe some of us normally wouldn't. Instead of just looking at a tree or, you know, maybe leaning against it or whatever, this figure is actually enveloped, like allowing the tree to embrace her. She's embracing the tree herself. And probably all of her senses are activated, smell, touch, um, her vision, you know, all of it are activated just being with the tree, right? And, and as you practice these moments of turning in and getting your internal alignment and staying clear and aware of what's happening right here, right now, you become to feel a, a better sense, a more fulfilling and full sense of being right in your life, right? And internally, you will learn to, and as you probably already do, Cancer, since you're a very intuitive sign, you're learning more and more to trust that inner guidance. This is an internal based card and guidance is, you know, that internal GPS that we all carry is what creates our life. You know, the, the, the nudge to go in this direction or that direction or to the, the calling to just stay put for a minute or um, yeah, I'm gonna have to say no to this right now just because you know it's right. And those little intuitive moments, those little, um, um, you know, that little steering wheel that's within you is becoming sharper and sharper, especially with more meditation and, and quiet time. That becomes louder. That guidance becomes much more clear to you. And in your external world, what is that cause for celebration? You're going to find that by practicing self-containment and self-care and self-alignment, yet open, compassionate heart with others, by practicing that, it enhances your connections. It makes your life more fulfilling. Your relationships become um, much more easy and much more enjoyable. And um, you start to, to really um, see the bright side. You see the, the good in others. You, even though they're sitting there, the kids are sitting there rolling around on the floor fighting, you still see you know, how alive they are and, and what each of their qualities are in order to um, make them unique to who they are, you begin to see the positive, right? Because you have a full awareness of your own alignment, okay? It starts with meditation or like I said, any other practice that takes your mind off of uh, sort of that treadmill of life and, and puts you into your center, okay? And then the outcome of this entire spread and something to look forward to are this, you know, in traditional tarot, this is like the tower card. And I think it might scare, I don't really read traditional tarot and I don't, I'm fascinated by it, but I didn't learn that. I've sort of self-taught myself with this deck through, um, just through my intuition. I really don't even study or do anything like that. It's just what comes out of me. Anyway, this Thunderbolt card, I think the tower card might scare people sometimes because it means, you know, loss. But for me, this is a positive thing. This is a shedding of the things that no longer serve you. This is a uh, opportunity to emerge and evolve and really grow out of what others would see as the wreckage. But for me, this is learning all of this core um, alignment and really, really um, sort of shoring up you know, really relying on your maturity and your wisdom and your knowing, um, you know, that inner guidance. These inner, these internal position cards are both really important. It's that that fine, um, quiet wisdom that you carry, and then that voice inside that guides you, um, one, you know, to make decisions in your life. All of it comes from the practice of meditation, or like I said, your quiet time alone. Um, it doesn't have to be sitting cross-legged, you know, as the Buddha did. It doesn't have to be anything except checking in with yourself, right? And being with your heart and aligning yourself with what is right and true for you. Staying aware and clear about others around you as well. 
it's it's this balancing act, but it's so fulfilling. It pays off. And like I said, in the end, you will shed old qualities, old perceptions, um, old practices or old habits that no longer serve you, that are being replaced by this quality of presence that you're developing. Okay? All right, dear Cancer, thank you very much for being here with me. I I know I haven't been consistent in the last couple months, but um, I'm so glad and grateful for the time that I can take to um, share the guidance. And I love every one of you for being here. Thank you so much. And until next time.